Today's video is an exceptionally fun video because today we're taking a hockey stick and we're gonna see if we can make a bow out of it. Not too bad for a Ricky, huh? Let's see if this will bow. Ninety thousand subscribers. I am so impressed. Thank you so much in order to get back to you guys I want to give away five of these two tone tabs shatterproof archery in combination with shatterproof leather is giving away five of these Two tone tabs you can choose split finger or three under the only way to get your hands on a two-tone tab is through a giveaway Head over to Kramer Ammon's Instagram to see how to enter in order to get one of these tabs The giveaway ends tomorrow on Monday, and we're gonna announce the five winners So if you're interested head over to Kramer Ammon's on Instagram so that you can get your hands on one of these tabs. Thank you so much for your support. Let's get right into the video. And what's up friends? Welcome back to the workshop today. I'm so happy you're here because we've got the most requested video of Will It Bo. What is this? It's a hockey stick to all my Canadian friends who have requested this many times. And admittedly, I know nothing basically about hockey sticks. I found two hockey sticks on eBay. Both are damaged or broken, so I'm not using new hockey sticks. And we'll see if today, if we can make a bow out of this. There they are. I don't know if you've ever seen a slow-mo video of a slap shot with a hockey stick. It's absolutely crazy how much these things can bend without breaking. I believe the ones we've got here are youth hockey sticks. Also, it's made of composite material. They're made of composite or they're made of wood. From my understanding, flex is measured kind of like this, where they'll set the hockey stick here and then how much pressure does it take to get this to bend one inch? So to bend it down one inch, however much poundage it takes to bend it is what the flex is. So this is a 75 flex, which means it'll take 75 pounds to bend this hockey stick down one inch, which is gonna be way, way stronger than any bow we would want. We've got performance 10, wear nine, and the weight is 415 grams on the 75 flex Easton Synergy. So this hockey stick right here is about 48 inches long of workable material. If we're gonna get a bow out of it, it's gonna be a very short bow. I don't know what else to say. Let's get right into trying to turn this into a bow. I may have just dulled my saw blade. So here it is. I really didn't know how to start taking off material, so I just used the bandsaw. I think I may have really dulled the bandsaw though. Right down close to the blade, it's this little section. You can see how they made it solid, and that's probably for extra strength right there. And then the other side doesn't have that. So I may end up fishing that out. You can see we do have a little bit of flex. Of course, it is flexing mostly right near the handle. And so we're gonna need to thin this edge down more. I'll probably come about halfway down and then I'll taper it down with the bandsaw even more and then we'll see how that flexes. Okay, so this is starting to become really interesting. So I cut off these little lips on the edges. First I cut it in half basically, except the handle section. And then I cut these lips off to try to get the side to bend more. And boy does it bend more, <laughs> check this out. <laughs> Look at this, it only bends on the end. So what's fascinating about this is how much rigidity it lost by 
trimming off those sides. Completely lost like all the rigidity within it. So it's super flexible. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just trim it off all the way down to the handle section. And so the whole thing will flex somewhat evenly and then we'll see if we can put a string on it. But what this means is that if I'm gonna try to make a strong bow out of this, I am going to have to leave part of this side on. And so I'm gonna have to taper the side from the top down to the bottom in order to get a tiller that looks somewhat decent. So we'll try that with the next hockey stick, but first I'm gonna cut off the sides on this hockey stick and see how that works. This is not gonna be strong enough to shoot an arrow whatsoever, but we've learned a lot with this. One, check this. This thing can bend, so check it. I can bend this in a full circle. What that means is I'm not really gonna worry about breaking it by bending it, but I need to figure out a way to be able to keep some of that rigidity on. I can't cut off the entire side. Because of the way this hockey stick is, I've gotta leave this side as thick as possible for rigidity and tiller on the side. So what that means is I cannot come in and taper it this way and out. I'm going to have to taper it on this side from thin to thicker. And that's how I'm gonna have to tiller it is by using the side profile. That's my only option. And I think that's gonna be really hard to do with the bandsaw. So I think I'm gonna go to the belt sander. So let's go do some work on the belt sander with the other hockey stick and see if we can make a bow. <laughs> Did that was completely messy. Goodness gracious. I'm gonna wipe my arms off here. That did a lot better than the bandsaw for sure, but we're not done yet. Now at the top of the handle, they put wood. At the bottom, they put fiberglass. I'm gonna leave both of those there for extra rigidity on the knock points. So what I wanna do here is I wanna go ahead and put the knock points in it and test out what the tiller looks like on the tillering tree. But actually even before I do that, since it's hollow here in the middle, I'm gonna cut a piece of wood to fit and wedge it in here in the middle of the handle to make the handle a little more rigid. I'm gonna grab a piece of maple here and I'm gonna see if I I can get this down through the hollow hole right there. Cut this to size, throw some glue on it, wedge it in here, and that should allow this to be a lot more rigid and hold its shape a lot more. Now, what we do have going for us is how bendable this is. Remember, like look at that. That's extremely bendable. Now this one with these edges on it, it's still extremely rigid. And so if I can taper this down even more so, maybe, just maybe we can get it to bend without breaking. Now, I'm not too worried about this breaking as I have twisted this in an entire circle. So this fiberglass is super strong. So I'm gonna leave the wood there, I'm gonna leave the fiberglass there, and I'm gonna try to fill this up with that piece of wood. Let's get right to it. It is time to see if this thing will bend at all. 
If you do any bow making yourself, if you got a tillering string, you wanna make sure that knot is gonna be right in the center. Sometimes it'll get stuck off to the side, which will cause a little bit of a limb twist. I've had questions about limb twist and that could be the problem. Just thought I'd throw that in there for those who care. Let's see how this bends. It's 25 pounds right there. Oh! I was about to say, see how the left limb is bending further? What that means is I'm not really gonna worry about breaking it by bending it. Oh! 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 So this first one absolutely bends a ton. So I was like, oh, we need that stronger. You leave the sides on it and then it broke right there. Drawing it back at 25 pounds. With the sides being left on, as it bends, this has to compress. These were pushing together extremely hard and then it got to a point where it was just too much and so they overlapped each other, creating the hinge and breaking it right there. You can see right here how it did that really clear. It folded over right on top of itself. So this is actually a pretty good lesson. This material is gonna be extremely good under tension, what's on the back of the bow. And compression's gonna be on the belly. So when this compressed together, the material had nowhere to go and it wasn't able to handle that compression and it snapped on the side. I'm trying to think if there would have been another way to do this. I feel like if I took the sides off, it's just gonna be too weak. If I leave them on, it may not handle the compression. Jump four today, and here we are, and I've broken both of these hockey sticks, and I was thinking, okay, that's it. This will not bow, this video's over. But then I had another idea. What if I glue one hockey stick inside of the other? Basically double up the fiberglass so that something this flimsy can be doubled up. And what I've learned is that when I use the magical glue, it makes it much more rigid. So maybe that glue added to both pieces of these fiberglass will make it rigid enough to heal the crack we have in this bow. Not only so, but we have extra pieces from the other half of these hockey sticks. So what if we can stagger these in order to create a tiller? So instead of tillering afterwards, what if we can tiller as we build? So make it much thicker near the handle section and less pieces near the limb tips. This could be crazy, this could fail, but I think it's worth a shot. Let's get right into it. Okay, check it, this is my idea for the tillering. I've got two really thick blocks of fiberglass right here, and these are gonna go right near the handle for the fade outs. That's where it broke, so that with some EA40 is hopefully gonna hold that in. Next, we've got these pieces, gonna glue them in right up next to those blocks. We've got two more evenly sized pieces that we're gonna glue in next to there. It drops off the further away from the handle we go so that it'll bend more as we get closer and closer to the limb tip. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue this up. I'll have to wait another day for it to dry. I'll see you tomorrow and we'll see if we can finish this up. know the last time that I wanted a willow bow like this one to work this bad. I think it's because if this works, I feel like it's gonna work so good. Just because of that fiberglass or carbon fiber, seems like it's gonna hold so much. So I'm really pumped today to get into building this. Let's make this awesome. Let's get right into it. Okay, we're gonna go for just a little bit of bending. Not very much, just a little bit, and uh, we'll see how it looks. I feel like the hockey stick's so strong, but at the same time it broke, and so I'm like, oh, it's really weak. And that would be almost like a brace height if I had a normal string on it. 
you can follow these lines with your eyes and see when it bends down, that's how far the string would be. It's 20 pounds. I'm gonna take more material off because I'd rather finish with a bow that works as a light poundage than no bow at all. So let's go take some more material, fiberglass, carbon fiber, material off. All right, I'm back, come on. I got to thinking and I was wondering, I wonder if the bow actually broke because I put the wood in the handle section, making the handle not bend at all so that there was so much pressure right outside the handle section and that's why it snapped. I don't know. Woo! This feeling kills me. Looks like it's bending right there extra. This is the side that broke. So watch that as I pull down. Most pressure's right there. Left limb is hitting this line. The right limb's not there yet, so this is the stiffer limb. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is try to tether this like a normal bow. I can't use my metal tools really as a scraper, but I can use the belt sander and I can use an orbital sander. So I'm gonna use an orbital sander with higher grit sandpaper to try to actually tiller this thing and see if that'll help. The better the tiller, the better chances it will work. So let's do that. Okay, we're gonna give this a shot to put a string on it. Oh, oh man, I heard something cracking. Could have been glue just cracking, I'm not sure. It was just about there, so I'm gonna go ahead and try it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay, hold on real quick. Let's make sure this doesn't break. <laughs> Do we have a bow? <laughs> we have a bow! <laughs> We have got something with a string on it. We're not gonna stop there. I'm gonna keep trying to tiller this, I guess, to see if we can shoot this like with a decent draw length. <laughs> and it broke in the same spot it did last time. I glued the crack, you know, and I, was, I glued that big piece of fiberglass in there to try to make it solid. No go. Here, let's try one thing. Okay, so this is clearly broken. Let's see if we can still fling an arrow. Check this out. So the part I glued in, it just popped out. I guess the glue doesn't stick to this inside graphite feeling material, but this is the tapered limb I put on the inside of that other limb, and it's money. So if I were to redo this, what I would have done with both hockey sticks is just cut them down the center and then get a bunch of flat pieces and then just laminate the flat pieces together and use that instead of trying to use any of those sides. I think if we glued up what, each hockey stick has two sides to it if you cut it in half, so that's like one, two, three, four full pieces of this with the sides cut off, we might have had enough strength to build a bow. But will this hockey stick bow? I'll let you decide if that's a bow or not, but not really. You're tuned in to the world's number one YouTube channel that breaks the most amount of bows. <laughs> and we try to learn the most here too. So there you go, there is the hockey stick bow build. If you're not subscribed already, go ahead and do so. One reason to is because the first hour after I post a video, I stay on, comment, and interact with you guys. I call that Power Hour. So if you wanna hang out with me on Power Hour, you need to be subscribed so that you can see when I post the next video also. Stay positive, be shatterproof, unlike these bows. Well, be like this bow, like seriously, look at that. Be this, be shatterproof in your lives. Stay positive. Remember, I'm for you, and I'll see you on the next video.